Well, in the world, Bo, it's your boy, Big Low Country. I'm just sitting here shook up and pleasantly flabbergasted because I heard that the Hawks just made a trade for DeJounte Murray. What in the world, Bo? Yes, DeJounte Murray just got traded to the Atlanta Hawks. They traded away Danilo Gallinari and three first-round picks. Now, first of all, shouts out to my homeboy. Let's get it. GA for getting me right. But this is the perfect situation. Now, I've been saying for the last two years that the Atlanta Hawks need to figure out what they're going to do and get some all-star talent around Trey Young because if he doesn't get it here, it's just like a relationship. If you don't get it here, you finna get it somewhere else, bro. Now, let's be honest, and y'all let me know if y'all disagree with me or not. John Collins is not a number two guy. He, he's not the number two guy that's going to help will you through the playoffs. He have a few good games in the playoffs where he'll get more than 20 and 10. But realistically, John Collins is not consistently a 20 and 10 guy. With John T. Murray, you got a guy who's, like I said, he's an all-star. He's a defensive, he's a defensive monster. He can lock anybody, he can lock anybody down, Bo. He'll lock you down like you drank too much Pepto Bismol. That's how he lock you up. And he's one of those situations where Trey Young can now work off the ball. He don't have to worry about bringing the ball up court. He'll be able to be able to get get passes, do what he need to do, make some of that Trey Young magic, and get the shivering. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, Bo. It's starting to be some good times here in Atlanta. And let's be honest. I mean, who's to say John Collins is even gonna be here next season? They might trade him for another piece. Book it, Atlanta Hawks are gonna be the fourth seed or higher next year in the Eastern Conference. What in the world, bro?